The K21-105 represents a novel light tank, collaboratively developed by CMI Defense from Belgium and Doosan DST from South Korea. Evidently, this vehicle was initially unveiled to the public in 2014. Essentially, the K21-105 is founded on the South Korean K21 Infantry Fighting Vehicle Platform, integrated with the Belgian CMI Defense CTCV-105 HP two-man turret. This fusion yields substantial direct firing capability, based on a comparatively lightweight and agile chassis. In terms of cost-effectiveness and strategic as well as tactical mobility, the K21-105 outperforms main battle tanks. Additionally, its production and maintenance costs are notably lower than those of main battle tanks. A precursor to the K21-105 emerged in 2013 as a prototype light tank, grounded in the K21 IFB framework and conceived by the same collaborating companies. Although utilizing the K21 IFB chassis, this variant was equipped with the XC-8 lightweight concept turret, housing a 120mm gun. It's highly probable that the K21-105 evolved from this initial project. The developers of the K21-105 classify it as a medium tank, yet it weighs approximately 25 tons, which aligns more with the characteristics of a light tank according to contemporary standards. The primary function of this tank revolves around infantry support, proving effective against armored and soft-skinned vehicles, as well as structures and fortifications. It also boasts a secondary anti-tank capability. While it might not excel against modern main battle tanks unless operating from ambush positions, it's likely to overcome the majority of common tanks found in North Korea's arsenal. The hull design incorporates composite materials extensively to minimize weight. The frontal section offers protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds, with all-around safeguarding against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell fragments. The vehicle is also equipped with automatic fire suppression and NBC protection systems. The tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled low-recoil gun, capable of firing standard NATO 105mm ammunition as well as newly developed smart projectiles, with a maximum firing range of 4 km. Furthermore, the tank is compatible with Falaric 105 gun-launched anti-tank missiles of Ukrainian origin, used for engaging heavily armored targets over extended distances. These missiles are launched similarly to conventional rounds and utilize semi-automatic laser guidance with tandem warheads, penetrating at least 550 mm behind explosive reactive armor, with a maximum firing range of 5 km. An automatic ammunition loading system is located in the bustle, facilitating a maximum firing rate of 8 rounds per minute. The gun's elevation of 42 degrees accommodates urban and mountain warfare scenarios and enables howitzer-like firing, reaching an indirect firing range of up to 10 kilometers. The tank features a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and offers an optional roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. With an advanced fire control system, the K21-105 is capable of targeting both day and night. Operated by a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver, the vehicle is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine generating 750 horsepower. This engine surpasses the power of the K-21 IFV's engine. The tank retains its amphibious capability at full combat weight, requiring minimal preparations to traverse water obstacles. Automatic flotation bags are activated before entering the water, with the tank propelled on water by its tracks. <laughs>